All right, here, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this Sunday evening, March 8th, 2020. Uh, had a pretty good size shaker in Northern California, just off the coast of Northern California, uh, off the coast of Eureka, California. There were quite a few folks reported feeling this 5.9 earthquake strike. Uh, this earthquake did create uh, quite a bit of uh, data coming up here on numerous stations all throughout California. This is now past the uh, the uh, window to where I can get some data, but uh, it definitely showed up on quite a few stations and also roughly about the same time uh, as that 5.9 struck in the northern part of the state. Uh, a smaller earthquake struck at the exact same time uh, in Southern California near the Ridgecrest area. Coincidence? Who knows? Uh, roughly, um, I'm not for sure the distance on the two areas, but uh, I don't believe it's really a coincidence considering the Pacific Plate also has an adverse effect down there to the south as well. Uh, this earthquake 5.9 taking place out here in the Pacific Ocean. You can see the red circle here. I'll go ahead and zoom in just a little bit closer to give you guys a better detail. Some stations showing this as a mid-5 USGS sticking with the upper portion of it at a 5.9 roughly at about 2 kilometers below the surface. So pretty shallow shaker out there in the Pacific right at the section of the uh, Mendocino fault zone out here you can see that uh, area there uh, showing up on the map uh, there was a smaller earthquake there it looks like yesterday roughly within the same area 2.6 that's gonna be the little blue circle there uh, but it's a pretty good size shaker out there historical seismic activity is pretty high in this part of the of the world especially with the pacific plate interacting with the north american plate and the juan de fuca plate there to create the cascadia subduction zone in this part of the world so uh no stranger to earthquakes out here but definitely a good shaker for a sunday night right um once again i did not feel it i'm a ways away from the coastline um some folks did report feeling it and that's let's see if i can bring that uh window up here real quick I always seem to lose it and I'm not for sure where it goes. There it is. Let's see if I can bring that up here. Oh, that's not it. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can get this other one going. Uh just been a fun, interesting day again. <laughs> no tsunami statement with this thing, folks, and that's a good thing it's a smaller size earthquake so it's not gonna do any kind of damage out there taking a look at the pagers they're all green shake map uh, for the most part it's green I can go ahead and bring this up here real quick they got a little bit different view here of uh, of the shaking now these are certain stations here it looks like these triangles here are um, areas of that picked up the shaking and I only see one hold on a second here I only see one station in the yellow which would indicate uh, some strong shaking right there it's an interesting feature here they got intensity as a 5.7 where that station is at you can see the um, circle over here the uh, with the star indicating the epicenter of that 5.9 uh, earthquake and, and once again roughly this is off the coast of uh, Eureka California you can see Eureka over here towards the north part of the map um, roughly on a scale let's see what the scale is at from there 10 20 30 40 50 60 maybe looks like 70 miles or so from Eureka and of course as you get a little bit closer down here uh, in this less populated area um, it might be a little bit stronger that's why this yellow triangle is being picked up there uh, indicating some uh, more shaking or more intense shaking I should say um, let's see here quite a few folks feeling it in Let's see if I can get this data to pop up here. Oh, man. Let's see here. Oops. 
I still got a cold, folks. Still dealing with this head cold from my trip back in Texas here. Uh, quite a few folks filling it in Eureka, Arcata region, uh, up and down the coast there. Looks like of Northern California. Um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see if some videos come out with uh, maybe somebody recording it there. Like I say, it's not a, not definitely not a strong shaker out there. Uh, nothing severe. But uh, definitely, uh, I'm sure if you're sitting down at the table Sunday night, having dinner or something there in Eureka or in your bedroom on the computer, I'm sure you felt some light to moderate shaking. That's, uh, for the most part, that's what the map is showing here um, in the green to yellow. So nothing, uh, nothing big, folks, out there, luckily. That's, uh, that's a good thing. Um, Taking a look worldwide here real quick. Uh, I did cover a little bit of this last night, but uh, pretty much about the same. Uh, no new spots. There's quite a bit of deep earthquake activity in Fiji. Once again, you can see all these red and uh, white color rings indicating some deep earthquake activity out there. Quite a cluster, needless to say, and some uh, shallow surface quaking over here. To kind of compensate for it off the coast of uh looks like uh right around the philippines island region there with 4.9 and uh, 4.7 over there latest earthquake showing up here now north of that 5.9 a 4.0 in alaska now remember the pacific plate does it's, it's a big huge plate folks <laughs> stretches all the way down here through southern california right the pacific ring of fire we all have heard of it uh, which also interacts with areas in Alaska there, the subduction zone up there, uh, where the Pacific Plate subducts, uh, kind of right there where that 1964 quake struck, a big one, what, 9.2? Uh, looks like it's a little bit north of that area, but either way, some earthquake activity following this 5.9 with that 4.0 right there. Looks like 19 kilometers below surface for that most recent quake there in Alaska. Puerto Rico area still swarming with their uh, aftershocks there following the, the larger quake they had there a couple months back now. It's been quite a while actually, but they're still they're still rocking and rolling, no doubt, out there in Puerto Rico. Uh, anyway, folks, looks like, uh, yeah, we'll just have to keep an eye on this region here. Uh, see if uh, anything becomes of it. Let's see if I can check the slow slip event movement page here on my end real quick see if we got any kind of uh, data coming in here and I, I can also bring this up here on the screen uh, we'll replace it with this here wasn't really going to show it but you know what we'll go ahead and do it real quick here so bear with me as i get this page uploaded and updated here okay here's the trimmer map from the pnsn pacific seismic network um, shows the slow slip event movement detection system um, and that's pretty much along the Cascadia subduction zone there which stretches of course uh, off, way up above the uh, Vancouver Island region uh, down into portions of Northern California just about uh, a little bit more south of this area that we're seeing right there in the red that's kind of like in Oregon but uh, parts of the subduction area stretch south of Eureka uh, a ways and also into uh, interior parts of Northern California but uh, on the map right now, we're looking at uh, some minor activity, slow slippage on a, uh, on a minor scale. But it's pretty widespread um, from northern Washington all the way down into extreme portions of northern California, southern Oregon right here. Um, and once again, these are pretty much just slow slip movement earthquakes. You know, they're, they're still quakes in a way, uh, but registering in a, in a slow fashion, right? Kind of instead of like a... A jolt if you will from an earthquake these are just slow you know you could probably play a a love song as these things slowly slip past each other they're just super slow uh movement between the plates here in the subduction area of the cascadia subduction zone and these are inland too um indicating some movement well down into the uh subduction area which of course is going to create pressure up here on the surface as these, uh, as parts of the uh, Juan de Fuca plate subduct underneath the North American plate there. So I wouldn't, uh, I'm kind of, I'm not really surprised to see that 5.9, but uh, 
Um, we've seen lots of days where we've had slow slip event movements on a large scale and we don't see anything uh, happening on the surface. So it just, it all depends on what mother nature wants to do, right? Not gonna predict an earthquake, no way to predict it, no how, no crystal ball reader here, folks. Just uh, some information and that's what I try to provide out here on a scientific scale. So uh, any, anyway, once again, 5.9 folks out there in the Northern California region there. No damage expected, just some light to moderate shaking reported from quite a few folks there in the Eureka region and uh, Arcata area as well. And I'm sure some uh, areas of outside that region too. So have a good night, folks. We're gonna sit here on the side. I'll get the Yellowstone uh, webcam fired back up here. Looks like they had some type of technical issue. I couldn't access it there for a couple hours, but uh, I'll try it again. Anyway, have a good night, folks. We'll catch you guys a little bit later. Peace out, stay safe.